1994 was my first ever year of racing a 911. And for inspiration, I bought, there was a book out which I produced every year, and the 1993 Porsche Sport Book, the front probably 20 pages in that book was all about uh, Porsche Super Cup. And I drew my inspiration for my own car from the, the very car sitting behind me. It wasn't until the early 90s that I was completely committed to working with Porsches and that's when I really discovered the depth of the Porsche racing series and everything else. But in 1993, it was their first ever year of Super Cup. Up until then, they'd done Carrera Cup, which was national series, but the Super Cup was a massive promotion for them because they were then supporting, I think probably be 10 or 12 rounds of the Formula One races. That's all I wanted to do was be in that Porsche Super Cup paddock. You know, it was absolute fascination. They built their first racing version of that from a standard Carrera 2. So the early cars are called Carrera Cup cars. And then when they knew they were attracting race drivers, they thought they'd up-spec the car. And that was the time when they sort of seam welded the shells and they worked off an RS shell. They upped the horsepower and 18 inch wheels with slicks. Up until then, they, they looked a lot more like a road car. Two years ago, when I saw this car being advertised in a Classic Car magazine, I knew I had to find a way to buy it because you know, it's, it's almost come a full circle. I knew I always wanted a Super Cup car, but I knew I really wanted either this one or its sister car, which had a blue front on it, because that was the car that inspired me for my first ever race car design. It feels really, really like I'm honoured to have that particular car. The car's not particularly road friendly. You, and definitely you wouldn't want to drive it fast in the wet, because it's you know, set up for the dry and we've got sort of racy tyres on it and things. The traits of the cars are the same. The road car is a lot more supple because it's it's softer on its spring rates and anti-roll bars and things. Uh, but they're both similar weight, they're both similar horsepower. The race car is a bit noisier. But it does help to have the car road registered because we can bed brakes in and you know, if it was a Brands Hatch evening, which is less than an hour's drive, I probably would drive it to something like that. You needed to have a certain skill that was used to driving a, a 911 with its engine still very rear biased. Whereas today when you see the Super Cup, you know, you obviously you still get the best drivers winning the races. If you're a race driver, you can drive a modern Super Cup car, whereas you used to have to be a 911 specialist to win races in a, an air-cooled Super Cup car. So yeah, they're, they're tricky to drive. I love owning a car like this Super Cup car. I dream about what it was like to be racing it around the streets of Monaco and all of that. Over 30 years of being a Porsche enthusiast, um, and hopefully there have been another 30 years of it. It's probably overused this, but it is a family, you know, and a lot of people I've met have become really, really good friends, uh, and it's all been through my love of Porsches. Mm -hmm.